Musical life in different simple language, I like to look at it as uh, like singing all the time. You know, we sing at times. Sometimes when we're in pain, sometimes when we're happy. Or we go to a concert or we go to a show. But imagine that 24-7, whatever you're doing, even walking down the street, there's a melody that's always singing inside of you. A certain inner joy. It doesn't mean you're singing with words or with your mouth, but it's a certain type of lightness of spirit. I believe the mystical life is essentially someone who's in touch with their soul, and it's their body that is a vehicle for the soul's expression, rather than the soul being a slave to the body's needs. When I say body, I mean physical needs. If your life is driven by your uh, inhibitions, or your temptations, or your material needs, to eat, to sleep, uh, sexuality, uh, power, money, all that, then your soul is, is basically trapped in the body's needs. And that's, mysticism tries to free you to turn things around. It's like, uh, like a hammer and a hand. If the hammer tells your hand where to go, we're in big trouble. The hand should be telling the hammer where to go. Our body and our material life, from a mystical point of view, is simply a vehicle for spiritual expression. Most of us live the other way around. Our souls follow where our bodies want to go, not our bodies follow where the soul wants to go. So living a mystical life is essentially taking control. That is, the captain of the ship is your spiritual life, not your material survival and biological needs.